Here we have SAT math question. There is a quadratic function h of x equals to 2 times x negative 4 the whole square negative 32 is given over here. So the quadratic function h is defined as shown in the x-ray plane. Uh, the graph of y equals to h of x intersects the x-axis at the point 0, 0 and t, 0 where t is a constant. What is the value of t? So we have the two x-intercepts of this quadratic function h of x. So they are 0, 0 and t, 0. Okay, now let's consider a quadratic function f of x in vortex form. So that is a times x negative h the so whole square positive k. Okay, so this is a quadratic function in vortex form. And uh, the vertex of this quadratic function uh, equals to h comma k. So the value uh, that we have over here subtracted from x is the x coordinate of the vertex and the value that we have at the place of k is the y coordinate of the vertex. Okay, let's compare the quadratic function f of x over here and uh, h of x we have in the problem. So what value do we have at the place of h? We have 4. And what value we have at the place of k? We have negative 32. So this is the vertex of the given quadratic function h of x. Okay, now let's consider the two x intercepts 0, 0 and t, 0 for the quadratic function h of x. Okay, whenever we have two x intercepts for a quadratic function and uh, I find the average of the x coordinate at the x intercepts, it must be equal to the x coordinate at the vertex. So here we have two x intercepts 0, 0 and t, 0. I just find the average of the x coordinates at the x intercept that is 0 positive t divided by 2. When I find the average of two values, I have to add them and divide by 2. So the average of the x coordinates at the two x intercepts must be equal to the x coordinate of the vertex that is 4. Okay, now let's simplify and solve for t in this equation. 0 positive t is t over 2 equals to 4 minus 2 get the value of t. So for that I have to get up the denominator denominator 2. So for that, I multiply both sides by 2. So when I do so, this 2, 2 will cancel out. I'm getting t is equal to 8. I got the value of t, that is 8. We find, an option, we find 8 in option D. So the correct answer choice for this question is option D.